What, in your opinion, is the best ever invention? There are so many things you could choose from, from computers to telephones, from the light bulb to sliced bread. I've been thinking about it and inspired by those rulers that you can buy that show when the different kings and queens had their reigns. I came up with a ruler that, that plots the last um, 300 years of invention. So this is, this is what I've come up with. This is the most significant inventions over the last kind of three centuries. And then I thought, well, I have to do one for chemistry and the discoveries that have been made in chemistry. So you can see the significant discoveries from chemistry. And this one's for biology. And this one's for physics. And looking at some of these and thinking about it, the best inventions, it's got to be about their impact. Something like penicillin. It's estimated that penicillin has has saved 200 million lives. That's got to be up there. Equally, something like the World Wide Web, that reaches billions of people and networks them and it underpins our modern world. We'd really like to know what you think. For National Science and Engineering Week, which starts on March 15th, we'd like to hear your suggestions. You can comment below or there's a link to Top British Inventions. The website there has all kinds of inventions suggested by different people and you can vote for your favourites. In my opinion, I'm drawn to inventions that, that solve problems in a very simple and elegant way. So things like cat's eyes, you know, it's a, it's a really smart way of uh, increasing road safety and obviously inspired by cat's eyes. Another process that I particularly like is uh, an industrial process called float glass, which is a way of ensuring that you get perfectly smooth, perfectly flat glass by actually cooling it, you pour the molten glass onto molten tin and you have a, a, the surface of a liquid which is obviously perfectly flat and the glass cools on that molten tin and you get, you get conventional glass. That's how most flat glass is made. For me though, the daddy of all inventions, the king of inventions really has to be the jet engine. And invented by Whittle in, in 1930, it's, it's such a brilliant and simple, outwardly simple solution. So you have a, a first fan blade of a jet engine that sucks in the air. The air is then compressed by a series of smaller blades and the space is constricted. And then you inject fuel, it heats, it ignites, and that further expands the air. And since the pressure is even in every direction and it's easier for it to pass out of the back of the engine, it's thrusted out, ejected out of the back of the engine and that pushes the, the aircraft, pushes the, the engine along. And actually some of that thrust is fed back, circumnavigated, and put back to drive the fan that sucks the air in. So it's a really smart solution. And actually the engineering that goes into a jet engine, I think is equally remarkable. I have here a turbine blade from a, a Rolls-Royce engine. And this is a work of genius in itself. This is made from a single crystal of steel. So if I bang it, you'll notice it sounds like a crystal glass. And that's because it has a similar crystalline structure. Now, if you imagine how ice forms in an, in an ice cube tray, if you put water in the tray and you watch it, as it cools down, the ice crystals form from the side of the tray, side of the, the cube, and the crystals are aligned in lots of different directions and then they meet in the middle and it's, it solidifies. In this, you have a similar process, but you're just looking to get one crystal. So all the, the atoms are aligned and it's as strong as it can be. So in this, you start cooling here, you have the molten steel, it cools from this end, and as the crystals, which are in lots of different directions, meet this helical structure, they're knocked out. All the crystals that are at different angles are knocked out until just one direction remains. And that goes into this main part of the, of the mold and you get crystals aligned in a central direction. So you get this beautiful tinging sound that shows how strong and robust this is. And this hangs, this part is removed and then the turbine blade rotates in this direction. So for me, Jet engines, the technology, the engineering that goes into them, I just think are the best inventions. We'd really like to know what you think. Please comment below, please go to the website. Um, but, you know, vote for jet engines because I think they really are cool. This is Head Squeeze, squeezing your head in the interests of making you a more renaissance sort of man or woman.